Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In this video, we are going to learn about chi-square which is used for test of proportion when you have more than two proportion. So, you can read this question and before that let me tell you once more. Our chi-square test is used for three different things. One is test for proportion, another is test for independence and one more is the goodness of fit. I saw in one question paper they ask question related to goodness of fit. You can check the video. Uh, I already kept one video for goodness of fit. So chi square is used for three things. Test of proportion, test of independence and test of independence is one of the most repeated question. Independence of attributes and goodness of fit has been asked once so they might ask again and this is test of proportion but the basic method is kind of like same the only difference is degree of freedom you should be very careful when you calculate chi square tabulated value because uh, if it is test of proportion and goodness of fit it will be basically k minus 1 or n minus 1 you can call it like the number of data items minus 1 and in test of attributes it will be number of row minus 1 multiplied by number of column minus 1 but the other part will be kind of like same okay so we have a question uh, an insurance company wants to test whether the proportion of people who claim for automobile accidents uh, depends on the age group so I think you know about how insurance works. So um, there are some mandatory insurance and there are some uh, like what you call insurance that which you can take if you want. So that in case of an accident you can claim your money back or you can claim uh, that what you call whatever damage occurred for your vehicle. Now one insurance company wants to check whether the people who claim the uh, the truth is many people do not uh, claim or only a few people go and claim so basically the insurance company is always in profit when people do not claim many people may be uh, what do you call some people may be ignorant some people don't want to go for the unnecessary troubles of getting that claim etc etc anyway they want to check whether it is age dependent or not so uh, according to this question when they check the people of age less than 25 they found that 40 out of 100 people claim at the same time and the age between 25 and 50 35 out of 100 people claim and you can see this amazing part according to the question 60 people claim out of 100 once they have age beyond 50 what we do is just like our ANOVA this is fixed the null hypothesis will be all of the proportions are equal that means it is not age dependent and of course h1 will be not all are equal and level of significance and then i hope you remember the usual terms row total column total grand total i'm sure that you saw the same kind of table in independence of attributes okay and I have given the cell design uh, like what you call observed and expected okay so I am writing all the observed values can you see can you see I am writing all the observed values 40 35 60 so of course the row total I have added one column here to write the row total and I have added one row here to write the column total and of course the last one over here is the grand total and what is the formula for the expected value row total multiplied by the column total the whole divided by grand total anyway I have so shown one example here and you can copy paste the same thing because of that numbers okay so we get the same thing now what we do is we go for chi squared calculated value come on tell me we learn test of independence we learn goodness of fit so what's the formula there won't be any change in the formula 
okay that will be sigma o minus e observed minus expected the whole squared the whole divided by e so i have done the calculations over here uh, please verify it because tomorrow you're going to write the exam you have to do all these calculations by yourself so make sure uh, or you can check whether the value I have given here is right or wrong okay and then the tabulated value I'm warning you in chi-squared chi-squared will be used in three different scenarios in chi-squared please be very 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 careful about degree of freedom anyway here the degree of freedom will be tell me how many different categories are here category 1 category 2 category 3 so that will be 3 minus 1 and 2 so you can go for uh, one percentage you can find this value and you mark the value where should you mark reject as always on the tail it is reject and on the other part it will be accept and that's it we got 14.14 right that is on the rejection side that means not all the proportions are same it is kind of like obvious when i saw the data it, it was obvious but remember uh, we may not be able to make the conclusion so easily by looking at the data so our conclusion is we are 99 percent confident that um, what you call not all the proportions are same okay you can do more problems related to proportion so that's it it is a short video so keep on doing revision that's the most important thing watch the video gain some knowledge read the books gain knowledge but the most important thing take a pen and practice okay so i'll be back with other videos so till then my friends bye